Welcome to my diecast addiction. Today we'll be picking a car from a pile of Matchbox and Hot Wheels and miscellaneous diecast to customize. Now from all I see here, I like some of these down in the front here. CTS is pretty cool. A86. 40 Willies, 41 Willies actually. Racing Champion, that was pretty cool. Tahoe Matchbox. These are all great, but there's one calling my name here. It's this little red step side. It's a Chevrolet. It's an 80s model. It's not a die, it's not a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. It's just cheap die casts made in Hong Kong has a plastic base but a metal body and I think this one's calling out for attention needs a little help so let's drill out the rivets here in this case there's only one the back of the chassis is held on by a tab in the metal of the uh, bed of the truck Okay, that was pretty simple to take apart. Didn't really require much pulling. It does have its own sort of suspension that holds the wheels in. All you do is press down and they pop right on out. Uh, yeah, they pop right on out. Now let's get the glass out, which actually is only held in by a peg that pushes off of the base of the chassis. So that's simple enough. Now we're going to go ahead and throw her in our goo here. Get her coated nice and thick on both sides, completely covered. And just for fun, let's pull her out and uh, watch the paint melt. As you can see, it's instantly starting to pull the paint off. I have to admit, this is one of my favorite parts of the build. It's always cool to see the paint just ripple up and start melting off of there. I think now we'll just uh, get a brush. Start cleaning some of this off of here.
Oh, look at that. Nice and bubbly. As you can see, the paint comes off fairly easy. Now, I like to remove as much of this as I can before I soak it again and scrub it and clean it and get it ready prepped for paint. So while we're waiting on the body to clean up, we'll go ahead and get this chassis stripped and uh, see if we can clear up this window a little bit. As you can see, there's plenty of haze and lots of scratches on it. So we're just going to throw it in the solution and see what, uh, what all will come off of there. Now, I like using this in particular because it pulls the chrome off of anything plastic in pretty much seconds and give it a swirl here and I won't even speed up the film you can see what I mean If you look down in there, you can see it fizzling already. You can see it's literally coming off right before your eyes. All right, let's pull it out and take a look. And there you have it. No chrome left. I'll let that sit for a few more seconds. See if it'll dis dissolve some of that Hong Kong sticker. All right, there we have it, nice and clean. And the glass, the glass looks pretty good too. If you look at it, it uh, did clear it up a little bit. And of course, we're gonna have to do some more work on that. Now let's take these and go wash them up. Get them nice and clean. Then we can get this primered up. And I got a decal I'd like to put on the back of the window on this one. Here they are, nice and clean. As you can see, 
we have them dry we got the truck back out of uh, cleaning and we're gonna have to grind on that a little bit get some more of that paint off all right let's throw a little McGuire scratch X on here we'll take a buff and wheel them and let's see how much of those scratches we can remove I don't expect to get too many out considering it was really really scratched up that just means somebody had a lot of fun with this toy at some point All right, let's give it a wipe off and see what we have here. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Front needs a little more. Just took a lot more abuse than the sides or the rear. Not too bad. You can tell some of the scratches are internal, which kind of mystifies me to this point. How the inside would get so messed up. Alright, so now we'll throw it in a little bit of future. Get it a nice clear coating so it can look really clean. And that should pretty much do it. We'll cover it for now. So as you can see, it did add a nice coat of clear to that. But we'll probably dip it one more time, being that we're going to put a decal on it. But for now, that looks good. So now it's time to throw a coat of Tamaya Primer over the... Uh, metal of the truck and we're also going to coat the chassis as well just get a nice even coat here and that'll get us ready for paint Okay, so we mixed up some folk art orange. We're going to use acrylic on this one. And before we get started, I'm going to spray down the booth and give it a nice coat so anything loose and flying around in there will now be stuck. We'll lay down our first coat now. This orange seems a little lighter than what I was hoping for, but hopefully by the second coat it'll have a nice, nice orange pop to it. We're not going to get too fancy with this. And 
and the acrylic is drying pretty quick so as I'm going around I'm actually able to add a second coat we'll get the bottom sprayed in and get her covered everywhere make sure we don't miss a spot here So now we're going to put some decals on the sides of here. I've picked out these flames that'll go good with the uh, orange and the yellow wheel. Now all I use is a little bit of warm water and these decals are kind of old so I'm hoping they'll, they won't take too long to come off and hopefully they'll be in one piece. Had these sitting around in my drawer and when I saw them I figured you know they were the perfect size and it would work you know a nice little flame on this truck would look pretty good. Now as I start to pick at it, I can see that the back of the flame is willing to come off, but that very front pointed arrow kind of area is stuck pretty good. So we're going to throw that back in the water, and while we're waiting on that one to loosen up, we're going to throw the next one in, Let's see if we can get that one to loosen up as well. As you can see, the first one that we were working on still doesn't want to come off completely. We're going to have to let that soak a little more. Then we're going to go to the other side of the truck and we're going to try this second decal. Now that one seems to want to come off a little easier so we'll go ahead and work with that one right now. I'm sorry I'm off camera there. I uh, I got so into what I was doing I didn't notice that I had pulled away from the center. But as you can see the decal went on without a problem and it looks really good on there. So now let's see if that first one will loosen up. And looks like we have a little success there. So we'll go ahead and put that one on the truck now. And there you have it. Looks pretty good. So now we'll set that aside. We're going to put the decal on the back of our window here. I 
and this will be just a little tie-in with all the yellow that we're doing on the truck. There you go. Hopefully that's not too much glare. At this point I'm on a headlight. I like to use a headlight when I'm doing decals. Minor detail stuff. Helps me focus on where I'm at. So again, this one doesn't want to easily come off. Another old decal. And we'll just let it sit for a second here. So we're finishing up the detail here on the chassis. We've done Molotow and Silver for the exhaust and the driveline and orange for the engine. And now we're going to move on to touching up the grill. Now here's a reminder of what it looked like before. So here we have the finished product, awesome, awesome orange, details came out great, the flames went perfect with the wheel, I like the small, you know, small wheel in the front, big wheel in the back, gave it a nice rake, the fact that it still rolls is awesome, the red windows really look good with the uh, orange paint, the decal in the back ties in real well. All in all, it was a really cool build. I had a lot of fun with it. I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Of course, we'll also do some restorations. And if you like what, uh, what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And uh, subscribe for more. Tell a friend. Bring everybody. This is my diecast addiction. And I hope to share it with the rest of y'all. Thanks for watching.